Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Do you see this tennis ball? This can be used as deep pressure. I crave deep pressure and it helps me regulate my emotions and it reduces my stress level. So this is a great alternative to help you apply deep pressure without hurting yourself. And I came up with idea by myself. So this is a tennis ball. This is my elbow right here. Um, I like putting it right here and when you squeeze it for deep pressure, um, don't use your wrist to push, use your forearm and you push like this and then that is um, putting deep pressure on the ball to both of your muscles on your arm. And you, if you just do that a couple times um, and you push steadily, then it provides deep pressure. And it goes through my arm. And then I'm gonna do it on the other side too. Or just do this way. Make sure it's right in the cushion in your elbow. And again, don't pull your wrist because that is bad. Pull on your forearm. And it should help a little bit provide the pressure. Um, it doesn't really help that much, but it helps enough where I can feel it a tiny bit because I'm used to like like squeezing myself and twisting and scratching, um, hitting myself because that is deep pressure in my opinion. And I'm trying to really maybe even squeeze a ball for deep pressure. Like if I'm really mad, maybe I can try and do this too, but um, it's hard to like find the right tools to help with deep pressure. I was thinking maybe this is good too. Because it's not gonna hurt yourself. And it, I think it helps a little bit. It has that rough edge to it. It's like as good as an Indian burn. Because I had someone do that to me a long time ago and I loved it. And then this is just massaging your muscles. As if you just do this. I think that's helpful a little bit. Huh, came up with a new idea. And again, you're providing that sensory input to both pushing and the rubbing of your tennis ball on your other arm. Um, so I've been doing this and my therapist recommended pushing against the wall um, with this behind my back too. Um, but um, I don't know if I want to do that I like the arm and it helps a little bit it doesn't I feel it like where I'm pressing it but it is cool that um I'm trying some new things um last Tuesday I worked with my provider Sarah and we went to Walgreens and we um bought a blood pressure cough and it was like right here on me and then we tested tried it out and um, I didn't really like it. I like the deep pressure, but I didn't like feeling my pulse or the aftermath of it. Um, but Sarah was a really good um, example of showing me how to use it because we did try and use it. Um, and then we returned it like 15 minutes later after trying it and um, it was okay, but I didn't like the aftermath aftermath of it but i'm glad that i tried that idea and i've been doing this for almost two weeks now this is a brand new tennis ball and i went to um a sports store with jenny my other provider on wednesday a couple weeks ago um because i think that would be good to provide deep pressure to me without hurting myself but again i like scratching scratching is one of the best sensory inputs that I can do to myself because it's like relaxing. I like the feel of it. And it's just, I like the sensation of scratching myself. So if I do this, it's better than using the tennis ball in my opinion. But as you can tell, it leaves um, some marks on me. But for me, I like that. I like scratching myself. That, mm, it's like relaxing. It's like how you um, scratch a dog's ear, like this is like the same kind of sensation I like. It's scratching and I can feel my fingernails run across my skin, which I like. Oh, 
and it does relax me. So if I just do this, I can do that. And then I can put lotion on myself too, and I can squeeze my arm like that too. Um, so I could do that. Uh, but I don't know, just trying to find ideas. And um, my provider, Jenny, um, is gonna refer me to OT. Um, so I might so see another therapist to help me with my emotion regulation and processing disorder, um, sensory processing disorders. Um, because I need to regulate my emotions better and find ways and tools that I can provide input without like harming myself. So that's just the update of my deep pressure um, situation. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.